Hello everyone and welcome to Acadgil. In this video, we'll see how to work on the advanced conditional formatting. Basically, that's a second example in this particular section for the advanced conditional formatting. And what is the thing we'll see here right now? How to highlight entire row matching the date criteria using conditional formatting. What I'm trying to say is I have a data here with different columns, invoice, date, company, product, net sales and cost. What I want to do is if this date has been occurred here anywhere in this row, I want to highlight the entire row. So if you see 27th of October 2018, if I scroll down here, I'm getting 27th of October 2018. Whenever the date matches, I want to highlight the entire record. So this is possible using this advanced conditional formatting. Why I have given the name advanced conditional formatting? Because if you go to conditional formatting, you will not find in the basic examples, but you have to define your own rule here. That's the reason you can use this advanced conditional formatting. Before I write the formula there, let me explain you the formula here itself. I want to compare this column values with this particular fixed cell. I want to compare B8, B9, B10, B11, B12. So if you carefully observe, B is common here. So whatever is common, you just lock that thing equal to B8 equal to B8 equal to B8. Press F4 from a keyboard, F4 and F4 till you get this option as $B8, $B8 equal to. I want to compare this particular column with this value and a5 should be fixed it should be an absolute reference so simply press f4 from a keyboard now this is a uh, cell referencing topic which is given here you need to watch that video for cell referencing now if you scroll down the value let me press enter and if you see it's giving us false if i scroll the formula down have a look here in the entire column there's only one value where the value is given as true and that is because the criteria for this particular date is matching with this column date. Suppose I'll press control C, control V. If I paste that same date here in the three rows and you see the values have changed here. So what conditional formatting does is whenever the condition is true, it will highlight the entire record. Understand this formula equal to dollar B8 equal to dollar A dollar five. That's a fixed reference. And here I've just locked the column and opened the row. So simply copy this formula. No need to write some other formula. Control C. Now, if you want to highlight the entire row, what you can do is keep your cursor in the first cell without the column heading. To select the data, press Control Shift right arrow key, Control Shift down arrow key. This is the fastest method to select the data. Once again, keep your cursor in the first record, Control Shift right arrow key, Control Shift down arrow key. Now, the area we have selected will get the highlighting based on condition. Go to conditional formatting, new rule. And if you select the last option, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And simply I'll paste the formula here. Same, same formula, no need to change. If this condition is satisfied, what is the color you want? What is the formatting you want? Let's say I want this red color background and the font should be as some black color, let's say, or some other color like this one and I'll click on OK. So this is how it your, uh, you know, conditional formatting output will look like red color font with the green color text and I'll click on OK. So here, if you observe wherever the condition has been satisfied, those places you'll be getting the highlighting. Let us cross verify. Now, what is the beauty of this formula is beauty of this function is suppose if the date changes here instead of 27th, if I put as 25th, enter again same way if I change instead of 25 if I change it to 22 enter you see that particular 22nd of October has been highlighted and here also it's showing us true if I change once again the last time and now if I press as 27 enter and if you see all the cells wherever 27 is occurred is been highlighted so this is very very useful for all the HRs in the company where they can track the invoice date or the payment date or, or let's say, for example, for the salespeople to understand what is the deadline or what is the exit date, entry date, all this criteria they can fill into that particular box itself, new rule. So I hope you have understood how to work with this conditional formatting new rule example two. That's all for this video. Hey guys, if you like the video, please support us by clicking on the like button and subscribe the channel for further new upcoming videos on Excel. Thank you.
A cat killed. Average is dead.